That's right, patrons. It's time to open packs and go to war. Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. We've got prescriptions to fill and packs to open for patrons. That's right, this is the patron video, and today we're going to war and opening some War of the Spark for the patrons and looking for gods and lilies and teferis and foil things and planeswalkers. If you want to get in on the fun and have us crack packs for you, we have Lucky, Hot Hands, Seb McKin, and Playmats. We've got everything you need. There's links in the description. One of them is for our Patreon. It's patreon.com slash booster therapy. The other one is, hey, if you're shopping for singles, you're going out to see TCG player because you know they're the cheapest. Please make sure you click on our link. It's in the description. We have an affiliate link and it helps us a lot. Without further ado, Travis, you are up first. Good sir. It's War of the Spark, so you get all the planeswalkers and all the rares. Ooh, and it's a Sorin Vengeful Bloodlord for our first rare. I'm just hoping to see like 30 to fairies. We got a, a few boxes and then some, and we're hoping to make some mega hits. The Wanderer, what could be behind her? <gasps> the Silent Submersible, Travis. If you'd let me, I would just rip it. But I won't do that. Maybe you've got something funny you're gonna do with that. I'll leave it to you. I'm not a fan. Come on, let's close out Travis with something exceptional. Ashiok, Dream Render. Stop your opponents from searching their libraries. And Ravnica at War. Exiling all those multicolored nasty things. Travis, thank you so much for being a patron and being a part of the fun. We really appreciate you. Next up, we've got Stephen L. Three packs to cure this man's pack Kraken addiction. We got him right here. Again, going to war for some of the biggest hits in magic, I hope. Tibalt. In the widespread brutality. Look at, there he is. There's Steven. He's just running away. Oh, we got a Dread Malkin. Look at that kitty. Ferocious kitty. Come on. You know, I feel like Liliana, long term, it's just going to be worth so much money, even post-rotation. I want to see a bunch of those. Vraska, Jace's girlfriend. Did I open? I only opened one, right? Yeah, one. So you guys start counting again. And the Bio Essence Hydra, every planeswalker's favorite pet. All right, Steven. Last pack. Thank you so much for the support, the love, the kindness, and the dollars. Ob Nixilis, the hate twisted. Man, I love opening planeswalkers. And Finale of Eternity. We've got a mythic. And Steven, it's all yours. Steven, thank you so much. Up next is, we got some new patrons this month. Month We got Robert J. This time, let's just put the three packs aside so I don't uh, lose count halfway through. Or even just after the first one. Uh, oh, another Soren Vengeful Bloodlord. Well, I'm not mad. I do love Soren. He is a sweet card. Lifelink for all things feels real good. And even that little res mechanic is always nice. Come on, Liliana. Ooh, I see a foil in this one. Kaya, Bane of the Dead. And Plain Wide Celebration. You guys all, if you've been watching Pat play at all, he streams the Happily Ever After deck. And, well, this is a key part of that. Ooh, and a foil Planeswalker. Foil Vraska. Man, that looks amazing. You can't hate on a foil planeswalker. Well, Robert, thank you for joining the Pack Kraken family and helping us out. Hopefully I can finish you off with something real nice here. A Johnny, I think we got another foil. The Great Hearted. And New Horizons foil. Fun little mana ramp. All right, Robert, thank you so much. We'll get these shipped your way. Next up, we got Mitch. Okay. Three packs for Mitch. What will we open? What does Mitch need for his deck building whatevers? A Kazmina, maybe? 
Maybe. <gasps> or a finale of devastation. There's a hit. Man, especially since this thing can go from the graveyard or the library. Your choice. Such a good card. There is a good, solid mythic from War of the Spark. Can't get enough of those. Samut Tyrant Smasher. It's one way to get haste. And the Dreadhorde Invasion, another solid card. Bitter Blossom, but you're going tall instead of going wide. And last pack for Mitch is... Narset, part of her veils. You're getting all the good hits. One of the better uncommon planeswalkers, likely the best. And the Dreadhorde Butcher. Mitch, thank you so much as always for getting Pat and I addicted to this thing called magic. Lucas, you're up next, and we got six packs for you. Four, five, and six. Good luck, Lucas. Let's get some magic just for you. Obnixilis, the Hate Twisted, and the Elder Spell. And some fun, eternal, you know, killing artwork. Ooh, and if I almost skipped right past it, a Foil Planes. Come on, more Mythics. Let's just get all the Mythics. Dovin, Hand of Control, and... Neheb, the Dreadhorde Champion. I secretly love this card. I mean, 5-4 Trample for 4 that lets you pitch cards, draw cards, and add mana. You couldn't sell me on that thing being bad. It is so good. I mean, I get to draw cards in red while I'm attacking? Yes! That's what I want to do. Tybalt, Rakish Instigator. Stop that life gain. And Karn's Bastion. A wonderful land from war. I think it's actually pretty affordable right now, but again, long term, having that proliferate mechanic is just real nice. It's so nice to go back through War of the Spark. It's been a little while. Vraska Swarms Eminence and Casualties of War. A super powered removal spell. I actually think that thing's creeped up in price too because it's seen some standard love finally. But man, does it get a lot of commander love too. Mo, a Johnny, the great hearted. The last pack, good luck. Let's get some magic, some super magic. He wants it, he wants wins. Let's give him a win. And, woo, there's a win. Nickel Bolas, Dragon God. We will take it. There is that nice mythic in the close. Lucas, thank you so much for your patronage. Next up, we got Kyle with six packs. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Kyle, good luck. Let the Seb McKinnon Star City Games Tour playmat give you some, some lucky, lucky hits. Come on. Samut, Tyrant Smasher, and... Mobilized District. Not bad. Man, I remember when lands like that were just crazy good. Any sort of man-land type thing. Feels like they don't get as much love nowadays, even though I feel like they still have a place in control decks. Obnixilis the Hate Twisted. And Finale of Revelation. I'm getting a lot of the Mythics now. Let's just keep them coming. Non-stop mythics. You can get 30 in a box, right? That's possible. When you're going to war, you can get anything. Nahiri, Storm of Stone. And another Karn's Bastion? Wait, didn't we already get one? No, that was the last one. Weird. Karn's Bastion. We'll take it. And a foil prison realm. There's a nice foil for standard. One All right, let's see Teferi. The top... The top build rare in the set. Three fairy. Tamio, collector of tales. Lots of the good planeswalkers here. And steady aim. The foils and the planeswalkers, all for Mr. Kyle. All right, come on. 
Oh, it's hard to get out of that pack. That means there's something good inside this one. We know it. Show it to me. Kaya, Bane of the Dead. And the Living Twister. Yeah, it's not that good. Yuch. Come on. Let's finish this strong. Let's get a good mythic. Let's see what's in the clothes. Hey, we'll take it. Three fairy. There he is. That expensive little three mana to fairy that I don't know how they didn't make a mythic. So good. Ooh. A foil feather. Look at that. Well, Kyle, if you haven't made this commander deck, go for it. You've got the foil commander now. And the best part about feather, it's super budget and super good. Kyle, thank you so much. Enjoy those hits. That was a lot of fun to open. Next up, we got Keegan. Keegan has a problem, and his prescription is for one, two, three, four, five, and six packs of War of the Spark. This will tie him over for exactly one month. Not really. Six packs never helps any of us get past more than a day. But this day will be had. Kaya, Bane of the Dead, and Ravnica at War. Come on, let's give him something better than that. Something better for Keegan. He's been hanging out with us for a long time, dealing with our nonsense and listening to our annoying voices. He needs good things. Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. It's an improvement. I'm a huge fan for this card when it comes to your creature feature decks in Commander. I mean, just getting that flash mechanic on creatures is real nice. And then the other things are just a plus. A Johnny the Great Heart. Is this like the 30th of Johnny we've seen in 10 minutes? I don't know. Feels like a lot. Ooh, beautiful foil Dovin's Veto. We're getting a lot of good foils. A lot of the good foils. Nebraska Dovin's Veto Feather. Come on, let's keep it going. More good. Another foil in this pack. I can see it already. Yaya! Jaya, Venerated Fire Mage. And Tulsami, a friend to wolves. And a foil. A foil island. Man, the foil art on these lands looks great. Come on. Let's give Keegan... Let's give him a three fairy. Can I hit another one already? Is that possible? How many of these they hide in a box? I don't know. Vraska for our Planeswalker. So no three fairy, but another mythic. Ooh, the Massacre Girl. Everybody loves a Massacre Girl. Seen a lot of Massacre Commander decks. They are a lot of fun, not fun to play against. Not good if you're playing a Tokens deck, that's for sure. And Arlen, voice of the pack. Followed by another Mobilized District. In a lot of the rare lands. Keegan, thank you so much for being a friend and hanging out with us and dealing with us. And thank you for everything. Next up, we got Zach. Welcome to Booster Therapy, Zach. I'm hoping to cure some of that pack cracking addiction with some mighty hits. But most of all, just thank you for supporting us, watching the videos, hitting the thumbs up, and everything else you do. We really appreciate it. Tybalt, Rackish Instigator. And Karn's Bastion. I'm not, I guess I can't be mad. Karn's Bastion's really good. It just feels weird that I have seen that many already. And whatever, we'll take it. It's a good card. And next up, Watley, the Sun's Heart. This is the first Watley we've seen. And another Casualties of War. Nice. Nice, solid, rare hit. Last pack. Thank you, Zach. Thank you for everything. Let's see what we can do for you. Teo, the Shield Mage. Hopefully I can open one of these for Chesh. And the Elder Spell. Destroying all of those Super Friends decks. It's a good sideboard card. Zach, thank you so much. Next up, who do we got? A Hairy Arm and Tim. Tim wants three packs. It's the only cure he could have. So we got him three packs, and we're going to open some magic, I guess like always. Sahili, Sublime Artificer, another one of the good uncommon planeswalkers. One of the better Oathbreakers, even. And the Dreadhorde Invasion. Love this card. Just to get a creature to sacrifice every turn is a lot of fun for a lot of commander decks. 
Big fan of the Dread Horde. And Nyssa, who shakes the world. Another good Planeswalker. Nyssa, I think, definitely is up there a bit. Really powerful card. Tim, thank you for supporting Booster Therapy. Hopefully I can get you one more nice hit in the close here. And, ooh, Raul, Storm Conduit. Another good Planeswalker. Getting to double those spells. Always a positive. Thank you, Tim. Up next is Ryan Butcher. It's the Butcher Man, and he needs his three packs a month to try to keep him at bay. Don't worry, folks. This really holds him over for mere hours until he's visiting again and opening more. And it's okay. It's okay. He has fun. He's responsible, I think. Narset, part of her veils. Nice little start. And Oath of Kaya with her ghost palm. Bad guy turned good guy. Oath of Kaya. Kaya. <gasps> Ugin the Ineffable. There we go. First Ugin we've seen. Nice little card. Just for the static ability alone, it is powerful. But, of course, getting to draw a card to destroy a per permanent doesn't hurt either. Ooh, you got hard packed open. You know what that means, Butcher. That means there's a good card sitting in here. Somewhere. Arlen, voice of the pack. And Narset's Reversal. Not a super expensive card, but I wasn't wrong. It's a good card. You couldn't tell me otherwise. And a foil, Vraska's finisher. Gorgon Tribal. Let's let's give it a shot. Ryan, thank you so much for being with us, you know, basically forever and always giving us the love and support. A new patron here, Nell Stash. Or, you know, Kylo. Kylo, thank you so much for joining us. Letting us open some packs for you, sharing a bit of the fun. Hopefully I can crack some monsters for you while you build your super collection here. All right, we got the Eternal Skylord. We're going to peel through all the uncommons here. Neoform, Tybalt, Rakish Instigator, and Awakening of Vitukazi. I still don't know how a 9-9 nine -nine with haste for five mana is not a played card. Is five just too much? Is it not fast enough? It's shocking. Domri's Ambush, Mau, Kyora, Behemoth Beckoner, the first Kyora we've seen. Another one of the solid uncommons. And, woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, got Eternal Kefnet. Getting to get all of that use out of those spells and a beautiful foil spell gorger weird. Look at that little blue guy. That's Kylo right there. just hiding down there, glowing at the monstrous flame in front of him. Last pack. Thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully you're enjoying the hits, and hopefully you're enjoying the videos. We really appreciate the support. So we got Jace's Triumph. Invade the City. Jang Yangu, Wild Crafter. And the Silent Submersible making an appearance again. Well, still fun to open, and plus, you know, Kefnet, always good. Thank you so much, Kylo. Thank you for the support. Next up, we got Chesh. Oh, it's his time. Welcome to the pack opening. Let's see what we can get for Mr. Chesh. He's a huge fan of Lily. Doesn't know that it's worth much, but he'll take it if we can open it for him. He's a fan. Vraska, Swarm's Eminence, and... The Parhelion 2. That giant beast of a machine that somehow spits out and births angels. Don't know how it makes sense, but that's how the machine works in magic. Dovin, Hand of Control. Chesh, big control player for sure. And the Living Twister. Yeesh. Let's see if we can get a good rare in the clothes. Those are some duds. Let's get him a mythic. Let's get him that Liliana. He's been waiting for her. It's been a while. He'd like to see one. The Wanderer, so it's not Liliana, but it could be Bantu. Oh, I tricked you. Fiddle faddle. It's fiddle faddle, Chesh. It's fiddle faddle. There he is. 
and a beautiful foil Lazatep plating. Fipple fip, fiddle faddle. Chesh called it fiddle faddle. That's what we should all call it from here on out. That was fiddle faddle. Next up is Colin. Let's see if we can open anything good for him. Colin's been with us for a while now, and he has regularly needed those six packs to cure that addiction. So we're here with the prescription and with the packs to cure it. Let's get you some mighty hits. The Wanderer, AKA Rockwool in disguise, and Oath of Kaya. I feel like we had another pack that was literally those two cards. I could be wrong. I'm opening too fast, it's been 20 minutes. I don't even know anymore. And we have so much more to open still. Stay with us, please. Sahili, Sublime Artificer. And Narset's Reversal. I do love this card. Really just torturing and punishing somebody with their own card always feels good. Come on, Colin. Let's get a high value card. That's what you came. That's what you came here for. Dovin, end of control. And the roll reversal. I do love this artwork. There is something so horribly sinister about that goblin and that sphinx. Sphinx, right? Or is it a dragon? It's a sphinx. I'm calling it a Sphinx. I don't know. Five. Jace, wielder of mysteries. Doubling down on the lab man mechanic. I do love Jace. Now you can triple down too with uh, the Thassa's Oracle. Yeah, Thassa's Oracle, Jace, or Laboratory Maniac. Any of them. If you can draw through the library, produce you that win. Narset, Parter of Veils, nice little uncommon. And God Eternal Bantu, another one of the gods has joined us. That's what you go to war for. You go to war to collect gods. You got Theros gods. We opened that last time. Now we're opening the Ravnica gods or the war gods that have traveled over from Amunket. Kiora. And they enter the God Eternals. Just like I said, they entered from Amonkhet. And then the Wanderers Strike Foil. Colin, thank you so much for supporting Booster Therapy. Really, We really appreciate it. Next up is a new patron and a friend of ours, William Lapp. Six packs for Will. Ooh, do you get the end of the box? One, two, three, four, five. I think we need one more, right? We need one more. Fresh out of the next box. We got to keep it going. Let's open it up. We got a couple more boxes here. Not sure how many we'll need to go through. Boy, do I hope I have enough. If I don't, I owe somebody something even more. We're going to have to dig into the reserve over there, and it's only going to be something a little bit more pricey. And I'm okay with that. But it's probably not going to happen. I, I'm good at math sometimes. Will... Let's see if I can get a run in six out of these bad boys. That will blow your mind. Jang Yangu, Wild Crafter, and the Widespread Brutality. I actually think Will, minimally his brother, Chris, who's also a patron, I think they did a fun little like Oathbreaker sealed with War of the Spark. It was pretty cool to watch. Kazmina, Enigmatic Mentor, and the Spark Double. Man, this is another one that I'm buying kind of a lot of. Very inexpensive right now and a crazy good card. Love, I love Spark Double. That might be my favorite card from this set. I mean, I think it's always Liliana, but that's up there. Oh, and then we say her name, and there she is. Liliana, Wow. Will, for the first shot at getting an opening here, you're doing pretty well. Liliana graces us with her presence, drawing cards whenever your creatures die, making zombies, controlling that board state. She is vicious. Ashiok, Dream Render, and the Plain Wide Celebration. Everybody happy about a down bow loss. Come on, let's do another one. Let's get a foil lily now. Something big. Chandra, Fire Artisan. A nice rock solid Chandra. Blast Pack, William. Thanks for being a friend. 
Let's hope I can do something magical here in the close. Davriel, Rogue Shadow Mage. This is the first Davriel we've seen? I think so. And Tommy. It's Tommy the Distinguished Advocist. Tommy doing his Tommy things. Locking down land decks. Play that with your red and six. That's why he's there. He did it just for you. Next up, Trolls. Ten packs for this poor addict. He's been suffering for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, Trolls. You're not at the end of the video. You're probably somewhere in the middle of all this. And hopefully I got some mega hits for you. Kazmina, Enigmatic Mentor. And Ignite the Beacon. Search for two Planeswalkers. It's another card that I love. Tutors at instant speed that do more than one tootin'. Always a fan of the double toot. All right, I'm done with that. Samut Tyrant Smasher. And Dread Horde Invasion. Seeing it again, I guess we are into a new box, so why not? Come on, let's get a foil to fairy for trolls. That's what he's looking for. High value. Give him the big dollars. Sarkon the Masterless. At least we're getting some of the fun planeswalkers. The Dragon Man. Come on. Three Fairy. Liliana. The Fairy. Whatever you want to give us the goods. Eshiak. Dream Render. And Finale of Revelation. There we go. Nice little mythic. Come on. Let's keep it rolling. More big hits, more big hits. Rose demands it. These cards are going a long way. He wants good things to travel his direction. Sahili, Sublime Artificer. And Ravnica at War, exiling, you know, things. Does that really not deserve play? I mean, it's multicolored permanence. I mean, that exiles a lot of things. Tybalt, Rakish Instigator. Looks like we had a land behind this. We did? Whoa, ho, ho, ho. What is going on? Let's back up. Did this pack not have a rare in it? What? Well, that is simply unacceptable. I, everybody saw that, right? A packless rare. Well, Trolls, I'm not going to do that to you. Here we go. One more. We're going to refire that one. That is some silly nonsense. No rares in a pack. What the heck? Angrath. Captain of Chaos. All right, we're going to redo here. And Vivian's Arcbow. There you go. Feels a little better. And an Ironclad Crovod just to make us feel a little bit better. A pack with no rare? What the hell was that? I don't think I've ever seen that before. I mean, I opened a... You know, revised booster with a ton of lands, but it's still had a rare in it. Kazmina, Enigmatic Mentor, and the Soul Diviner. You know, let's just back up real quick. Is it, like, stuck to the back of this guy? Yeah, it's not stuck. That's one card. Weird. Well, at least we refired another pack. And... Well, basically, let's just look at it as you get one extra Planeswalker, Trolls. I don't know what to tell you. That was weird. Vraska Swarms, Eminence. And Solar Blaze with the Parhelion 2 lighting up the world. Two packs left. Let's give him a big old Mythic. The finale was not enough. He needs at least another finale in his finale. A Johnny, the Great Hearted. And the final Trolls pack. Come on, give us something good. Something amazing. Ah, Domri Anarchabolas. Rest in peace. Nobody talks about this dead guy. Ooh, Foil Mythic. There we go. Finale of Glory. Let's make some angels and, if nothing else, a bunch of weird soldiers. Trolls, thank you so much for the weird opening, as always, and enjoy that foil mythic. Next up, we got the Mana Burn. Three packs for the Mana Burn. Let's see what kind of pulls we can get for him. Let's get the goods. 
Yaya, yeah, yeah, Venerated Fire Mage, and the Roll Reversal. Very rude card to play. Unexpected. It's fun to pitch out one of your little bitter blossom fairies for somebody's monstrous Eldrazi. It's real satisfying. You can't undo that twist. Davriel, Rogue Shadow Mage, and another plain wide celebration. Well, you need four to win, so why not? And the last pack for the Mana Burn. Thank you so much for supporting Booster Therapy. Really, we really appreciate the love, support, and the fun conversation. And Narset, there we go. Nice little uncommon. This stack next to me is going to fall soon. And the Dreadhorde Butcher. Boy, do I love that card. I love anything that works with aristocrats, sacrifice, fun. I mean, that's just that's just the right way that magic was supposed to be played. Let's see, how many more do we got? We still got a handful of addicts here. So Steve P. Steve, what are we going to open for you today? A three fairy, maybe another Liliana. We got a foil mythic out of this one, so I don't know if that can happen twice. The Wanderer and Vivian's Arcbow. Come on. Something good. Dovin Hand of Control. And Enter the God Eternals. And a foil Sarkon's Catharsis. It is a cathartic thing just to burn stuff down. That seems dark. Sorry, Steve. Come on. Steve's been supporting us for a while now. He deserves something good besides a Teferi Blink spell. Come on. Samut Tyrant Smasher. And, oop, we went right to commence the end game. I do love this card. I specifically love the Noah Bradley artwork on it. Super cool. And a foil, a Johnny's Pride Mate with the updated artwork. Steve, thank you for the support. Up next, we have Raul. Raul needs three packs to cure that addiction. Let's see what good we can open him. Ah, Ugin, the ineffable. There we go, another Ugin. Can't have enough of him. And... A foil bond of insight. I love this. I hope to see, if we ever venture back, a guild pairing like this where the symbols are kind of meshed. That just is fun. At least in the artwork, it's fun. It'd be even more fun if they really pushed for like three colors where, you know, different, different areas were joining for whatever cause they wanted. Nahiri, Storm of Stone, and God Eternal Bantu. Another Bantu. Always welcoming some of those mythic gods. Raul, thank you for the support. Let's hope we can get you one more good hit before we close out your three packs. Come on, lucky hit. Yes! Liliana, Dreadhorde General. Raul, this was your day. A couple of mythics in three packs and another foil forced landing. Wow, those are three awesome packs. Ugin... Nahi Ugin, God Eternal Bantu, and Liliana. Raul, you must have been good this year. All right, next up we got Pause for the Cause. Let's see what we can do for Pause. Pause, I'm hoping for the best. Some ultra hits for you, good sir. Teo, the Shield Mage, and Neb, Dreadhorde Champion. Make him a commander pause. That thing could work. I think it could work. I've got faith in it. Which, by the way, if you are a patron, one thing they get access to is our Discord. And we have a little offering where I build custom commander decks for the patrons. I have a lot of fun doing it. So another reason to be a patron. Ashiok, Dream Render. And Feather the Redeemed, a rock-solid, super fun commander. Worth exploring, especially if you are a fan of the combat trick. It's just really hard to interact with Feather. There's a lot of ways to blink it and keep that blinking going. Final rare for pause is Tamio, Collector of Tales. This is one of my favorite ones. I love the you can't make me sack things and the fact that I can pull stuff back from the graveyard. Pause. Thank you for the love and support. We appreciate you. Next up, we got Patrick, 
Another new patron of the channel. Three packs. Let's see what we can do for you. We're getting down here in the second box. We're going to have to move on to the third one in a second. Whoo! Let's see. Jang Yangu, Wild Crafter, and the Spark Double. I already talked enough about this, but man, am I a fan of the Spark Double. I'm sad that we've only seen two. Let's get more of those. Give me duplicate Spark Doubles. It's rare that you won't find a way to use it. Nissa, who shakes the world, another good rare. Man, for your first outing, I think it's your first outing, Patrick. These are some rock solid hits. Come on, one more good one in the close to thank him for all of his support. Let's do it. Yeah, Chandra Fire Artisan. We got three good ones all in a row. Nice. Well, Patrick, thank you so much for joining the family. And thank you for the support. Next up, we've got Jonathan. I feel like this is another new patron. Maybe Pat opened for some of you last month. I am sorry if I didn't recognize that, but I am just, this is definitely my first time opening for you. And we all know that these meaty hands are, well, actually, I can't even say they're luckier than Pat's. Pat has been on fire lately. Watley, the sun's heart. And deliver unto evil with the beautiful Seb McKinnon art. Love that card. Don't need the land behind it, though. Come on, Jonathan. What are you in need of? I just always want more lilies because I think they're so good. Whoa, I went right to it. Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord. A fan of this one. They're all, all the plane, the rare planeswalkers were really good in this set. Ooh! Uh, we haven't even seen a regular Blast Zone, but we'll take a foil one. I mean, for the most part, really, this is just strictly better than Engineered Explosives, right? I mean, the use that it gets in Modern is to hit the Boggle deck. And it already comes in with the one counter on it. So, yes, it doesn't help against tokens, I guess. But everything else, it's just kind of better. And it's a land. Davriel, Rogue Shadow Mage. And Tulsimir, Friend to Wolves. And another foil. We got the Thunder Drake. Boy, do I love how that thing looks in foil. I wish that card was better. I just like looking at it. It'd be fun to find a reason to play it. Jonathan, thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate it. Next up, we got the Big Daddy. We got Eric G. With his 18 packs. We're going to definitely be going into another box here. So three, four... Five, six. All right, let's do this. Gotta go to the next box for another 12. Uh, 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 oh, there we go. I cut it somewhere. It should open now. Yes. Open. Well, you get the bottom, Eric, of the last box, and you get the top of the new box. Let's hope that means something. So what did we have here again? We had six, right? Yep, so 12 more. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Eric, let's get some monsters. I'll never forget one of the first times I got to open for Eric and I hit one of every single shock land out of a Ravnica box. Domri, Anarcha Bolas, nice little start. Always love seeing the Planeswalkers. Come on. Let's get a couple awesome mythics here. Sarkon the Masterless. There's a good one. Ooh, you get a foil fiddle faddle. Ah, oh, foil fiddle fib. I dare you, Eric. I double dare you. Make a fibble fib commander deck. Boy, would that be satisfying. Let's see. Right? You're always going to draw two. No, it's got to enter from the library. Eh. I feel like you could do it. Ugin, the ineffable. There's a good one. Come on. Let's get a nice mythic here. We got a foil rare. We got one of the better rare planeswalkers. You know, we haven't seen Karn yet. Where is Karn? Angrath, Captain of Chaos. And Narset's Reversal. There we go. Another good rare. Come on. I want a foil card now. 
Kaya, Bane of the Dead. Let's get a God. God? Ooh, Rolesk Apex Hybrid. We did get a Mythic. Kind of forgot about that guy. It's another one that I think is, like, I feel like somebody could break that. And it's got enough going on with it that a future situation, I feel like, could really take advantage of. It's one of those cards that I think, Karn, there you are. Where have you been? It's nice to see you. It's another one of those cards that I feel like really could spike just with one little push. Erratic Visionary. Actually, really cool foil. Man, they did a good job with that one. The other card we haven't seen yet, and not that I'm that sad because I'd rather see more Liliana's, but we have not seen Gideon. Angrath, Captain of Chaos. We got some sort of legendary behind. Ilharg, the Razeborn, another mythic. There we go. Starting to see the mythics. Gideon's Sacrifice. Foil. Dude, I am, I'm just a sucker for gods. I have a more fun gods deck that's just about finished, too. I'm excited to see how that thing plays. Ashiok, Dream Render. And Awakening of Vitugazi. Come on. All right. If you're not going to give us more mythics, at least give us a Teferi here. That's what we need. Nice little Teferi. Omnixilis, the Hate Twisted. And Oath of Kaya. Ooh, and a foil return to nature. A little bit more relevant now with that escape mechanic. People sideboard that now, right? I don't play standard that much, and when I'm on arena, I'm basically just drafting. But I feel like that should be in the sideboard. Jang Yangu, Wild Crafter, and a Spark Double. There we go. That's a third one. Love seeing Spark Double. Come on. Man, we are over 40 minutes. That's what happens when you're open over 100 packs of cards. Nissa who shakes the world. Eric, you're getting a lot of good hits. This is the kind of stuff we want to see from War of the Spark. I got to tell you guys, I don't think Pat and I ever thought we'd be in a situation where we're opening this many packs for patrons. You guys have really helped us to feel awesome. So thank you, Tibble Tarakish Instigator. And a Karn's Bastion. Still just hitting the solid, solid rares. Narset, part of Veils. And Cranko, Tin Street Kingpins. First Cranko we've seen. Fan of that card as well. That or I just really love my Cranko Goblins deck. With Mob Boss as the commander but you still have them him in there as well nickel bolas a third mythic for eric g i think we had a foil behind this the snare spinner man nice job eric we still got four packs left let's get all right we've gotten enough mythics let's get that to fairy we want to see it to fairy we got karn now we need it to fairy kaya bane of the dead and another mythic finale of glory this is, this is, again, this is just like when I opened all of those, those shock lands. Mythic City for Eric G. Let's, get a, let's just do a foil mythic at this point. Angrath, Captain of Chaos. And what is going on? Finale of Promise. Another mythic for Eric G. Two packs left. What is going to happen? Could we hit another Mythic? Omnixilis, the Hate Twisted. And I almost thought we would, but it's Casualties of War. I don't feel like we've had a total strikeout in your opening yet. To open 18 packs and basically be successful on all of them feels real good. Last pack, Eric, thank you so much for being there with us. He's been with us for over a year, and we really appreciate it. A Johnny, the Great Hearted, is your final hit. And thank you so much. I'll make sure these get to you safe and sound. All right, who do we got next? We got Dan C. Another one, this is my first time opening for you. Three packs for Dan. Well, let's see if we can open. There's a lot of mythics in the bottom of that other box. Nice job, Eric. Let's see if Dan can scoop the rest off the top of this box. Yeah, yeah, venerated fire mage. And enter the God Eternals. Awesome. Teferi. Teferi. That's we all know we're looking for. 
We've only seen one three fairy. We need to see more. A foil one, perhaps? Kazmina, Enigmatic Mentor. And Time Wipe. Another good rare we haven't seen yet. It's always nice to have those controlly board wipes. God, who likes to play control? I hate it. Sometimes. Last pack, Dan. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for letting me open some packs for you. A Tamio Collector of Tales for your final rare. Until next month, hopefully this can hold you over on that pack cracking addiction. Next up, we got Ryan Burns. Ryan Burns is here with three packs of cards. Ryan's got his own little channel too, Couples Magic. I've been watching it a little bit, commenting on him using banned cards and all that sort of thing. It's real fun. Just kidding. Ryan, Arlen voice of the pack. Again, seriously, what is going on? Is this a normal thing? Has anybody else seen this before? Literally two packs in two different boxes where we are missing. I mean, it's not even like there is a fourth uncommon there. That is so strange. Okay, so what do I got left? I've got, hopefully I have enough here because I'm not going to let that just happen. So here, Ryan, we're going to refire at that one. See what we can do. Because that just seems unfair. Davriel, Rogue Shadow Mage, and... The Massacre Girl. There we go. Let's get us back on track. First rare, Massacre Girl. What else are we going to get? <sighs> Kiora, Behemoth Beckoner, and Tosamia, Friend to Wolves. Last pack, Ryan. Thank you for joining the Booster Therapy family. Keep up the great work. It is a really fun thing to watch your deck techs and your breaks, breakdowns. Watley! The Sun's Heart, and Mobilize District. Is there a foil? Nope. Ryan, thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Next up, we got Chris Lapp. The other part of the Lapp Brothers, he's got 11 packs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. All right. 11 packs for Senior Lapp. What can we do? Sahili, Sublime Artificer, and the Elder Spell. Chris, I can't remember. Were you in the, with that in the match with the Oathbreaker where the guy did Sahili, and on turn one he basically put every single mana rock known to man into play, like his seven card hand emptied in a heartbeat. It was really intimidating. Teo, the Shield Mage, and the Living Twister. Ooh, Courage and Crisis foil. That was that was rough. You just I mean the maybe maybe I was in that one alone. The the upside, it made him the only enemy, so everybody just, you know, devoted resources to them while I slowly built up my monstrous dragon show and tell nonsense. Jaya and Dami Distinguished Advocate. And ooh, a foil bolt bend. Man, that artwork looks amazing. Not sure if I'm catching the foiling on that but they killed it on that one all right foil to fairy that's what he wants that's what we must deliver let's see what do we got Ashiok dream render and the bio essence hydra i don't see enough play on this i definitely play it in my super friends deck um which i rarely play because you know Everybody just kind of targets you because they assume all these planeswalkers will just beat them. And they're probably right. Kaya, Bane of the Dead, and Karn's Bastion. A perfect card for your Super Friends deck. All right. Man, we are almost... We're going to hit an hour. This video is going to take an hour. Whew. I feel like I'm trying to go fast. Obnixilis, the Hate Twisted, and Casualties of War. Another solid rare. Let's get some mythics here. I don't know, I just keep wanting more Liliana's. I just think it's the best mythic in the set, despite what current prices might say. Yeah, there it is, a Johnny, the Great Hearted. Come on, Chris. Give me that good luck. Let's find something amazing. Have we opened a foil rare yet in this box? I don't think so. Oh! 
Nickel Bolas, the Dragon God. There we go. And we have a foil. Yes, there it is. The foil Rowl Storm Conduit. We hit a foil rare, and it's a cool looking planeswalker. Didn't Ral strike against? He turned on Bolas, right? That's how the story goes. I think so. Hey, and to Fairy. Now we're getting all the hits. We're closing this one out strong. Chris, two more packs, buddy. Let's do something magical here. Come on, super hits. Arlen, voice of the pack. And God Eternal Oketra. There we go. Let's keep the mythic train going. Now who's got the hot hands? Sorry, Pat. Come on. Big hit in the close. Let's do this. Nahiri, Storm of Stone. And the Silent Submersible. Oh, oh, okay. Well, whatever. We had some monster hits. That's all good. Chris, thank you so much for everything. As always, look forward to seeing you at the next cabin trip. Aaron T., you are last on the list. And boy, oh boy, we still got a few packs left. So lucky us, even though we've had a couple of misfires. Aaron, thank you for the support. Let's close this one out with some real magic. Watley, this is the Sun's Heart. And Krenko, Tin Street Kingpin. I do love me a Krenko. I just love me some goblins. And a click slither to eat them all up. The best sack outlet for goblins, you ask? Well, it's Click Slither, of course. Ooh, Chandra Fire Artisan. I think we got a nice little foil on this one. Sure do. Samlet Sprint. One of those solid little cards if you're playing Feather. Pump, Haste, and Scry. All in a card. Real good. Last pack for Aaron T. And our last opening of the day. Aaron, thank you so much for all of the love and support. Let's hope I can hit you a massive card right here. That's Oath of Kaya. Aaron, thank you again. All you patrons out there, thank you for sharing us, subscribing to us, thumbs up, the donations, everything you do. I can't tell you how much Pat and I appreciate you. So thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out for 52 plus minutes. You are all wonderful. You all have a wonderful rest of your week. And until next time, this is Booster Therapy. We love you.